Yo, what's up? It's the Style Pod. I'm back, man. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I have an amazing pickup for you guys today. As you can see from the thumbnail, I have a Balenciaga hat. No, I did not get this hat on sale, but this is a um, this was a birthday gift for myself, and um, it is a hat that I instantly saw online. I was like, yo, I'm getting this. Like, uh, mainly because. I don't have a hat like this in my collection. Well, I do, but I don't, right? I'm gonna have a, a few designer hats. I have one Balenciaga hat that has a split coloring on it. And now I have this one. Um, it's basically, this hat is basically a, um, it looks like a denim hat, but it's basically has the color of a denim, but it's like a, like a medium wash blue, tell me, but it's a grayish blue. Um, what I liked about it is the fact that it had a lot of lasering distressing on it, which when the distressing is done with lasering um, or like precise lasering, it seems more uh, uniform on the hat or on the piece. And um, another reason why I purchased this hat is because it's cheaper than all the other Balenciaga hats. This hat retails at 360 bucks. The other hats go upwards of three, anywhere from 495 or 425 to 495, and this one was 360. Um, and I'll show you guys a quick detail of the hat, but before I get into that, I'm gonna show you guys the box that it came in. Okay. Um, it has like the receipt in this envelope. Um, this and it's just basically the same stuff as as any other item that you would receive from a designer place. It comes with this this uh, uh, wrap of paper to put in the hat, so you can sit the hat in it, right? Sit the hat in that, and then it has one dust bag right here. I mean, it's pretty much the same basic box. This is a box I'm probably gonna keep though because it's small and I can do a bunch of different things with it and it kind of looks really cool. Um, but um, getting into the hat though, getting into the hat, um, it has like a leather on the brim, it has like a leather piece right here under the hat and it kind of shows that. I really, really like how uniform the lasering and the stressing is on this hat. As you can see on the front, it says Balenciaga right here and it matches the rest of the hat. So it's kind of like a subtle flex. You can't really tell what it is. And I'm gonna give, go, give you a quick voiceover of the rest of the details of the hat, right? So guys, as you can see, it's, it's, it looks a whole lot different up close. It's a lot of detailing in the laser and the distressing. You see the Balenciaga going across the front of the hat and it's more muted than anything. It's one of those things where, um, you know, you can't really tell what type of hat it is until you get up close, but I love the detail. You can see how like precise the lasering is on it, it's straight lines. It's not all over the place. It's not frayed um, on the side. I mean, it just continues to have that lasering um, all the way around the hat. And it, even on the, the back tab, is some lasering on it, which I think is really, really cool. Um, the top has lasering on it as well. On the on the under tuck underneath, um, you know, it's not really a lot to show you right there. It's just a regular hat in there. And I was, you know, you can see the tag right here it has how to clean the instructions on how to clean it and stuff. I guess, and for some reason it won't zoom in right here. Yeah, it won't zoom in right there. But you can see that I have a. Um, the hat is a size large, but just look at the detailing on this hat, man. It is freaking cool. Haven't seen anything like this in a while, so I had to pick that up. Showing you guys the hat, displaying the hat for you guys. You can't really see the the uh, receipt on it, but I got a size large in this hat. I have a really, really big head. I wear about a 75 eighths um, in my hat, so I had to get a large, and this one fits me small, kind of. So let me put it on for you. 
okay? It's still small, so I have to pull some of this, this back tab out a little bit and give it some space. But, I mean, if your head is bigger than mine, just expect for you to have to use or get more slack on the hat right here. But, like I said, I have a word of 75 eights and fitted cats, fitted hats, and as you guys can see, I have a really big head, but it still looks great on me. Um, I like to pull my hats, all of my dad hats, or any of my hats, all the way down um, as far as possible on my head. I just think it looks cool on me aesthetically and stuff, but... Guys, that is pretty much it, man. This is a great pickup. Uh, should you spend 300 plus bucks on a hat? No, especially if you don't have it. But if you guys, I'm putting this video out there for anybody that is, is looking at this hat online or is interested in a Balenciaga hat so you can know about the size and stuff like that and what it looks like. But um, this hat looks like it's denim online, but it's not really denim. It's just, uh, it has the color of denim. That makes sense so when you look at it online it looks a lot lighter but in person it's darker so it's basically like a grayish a grayish navy kind of like a light navy blue if that makes sense guys i'm the style pilot like comment subscribe and always remember you are the flyest motherfucker on planet earth i'll see you guys later